quickly again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got a very exciting ROM and this time I've got the Temasix unofficial CM12 build. Yes, Temasix ROM is back into the unofficial CM12 realm and it is awesome. Now, if you don't know who Temasix is or if you don't know Temasix ROM, you probably have a lot of homework to do because his uh, CM11 builds or CM10.1 builds were one of the best ROMs available for our S3 in terms of battery life, in terms of performances, in terms of features. So yeah, it is one hell of a ROM, well, only bested by some other ROMs like Archie Droid or something like that. So yeah, it is a really, really good ROM. So let's get into the ROM now. First of all, what you would see is the normal um, lock screen, which is pretty cool. You do have a lot of options there. Here is the launcher, which is the standard, I guess, launcher, which doesn't have a lot of frame to it. Now, yeah, this is a really cool uh, stuff. Okay, what is this? Okay, this is, as the name suggests, an unofficial version of the same ROM. Okay, unofficial CM12 ROM. Uh, so it is... Uh, um, built from the repositories of CM12. Now this is not actually directly given to us by uh, Tamasek. Tamasek has actually moved on to a different phone. I guess he's on the OnePlus One scene now. Uh, but Arthur 97 the guy who gave us the first uh, CM12, uh, I guess, no, the Android 5.0, that guy has bought it back to S3. So this is with his permission, this is the official uh, kind of maintainer. He is the official maintainer of Tamasek ROM. So yeah, that's the basic background stuff, but hey, this is it and we do have that. So that is really cool. Let's get into the other things now. First of all, let's go to settings menu. In the settings menu, what you would see here is the Java phone. We have, uh, this is based on Android 5.0.2, which is really cool. This is, this is right now, it's not the latest one. 5.0.3 is going to be coming soon enough with the memory leak fix of Lollipop and stuff like that. So yeah, it is Tamasic Strom. It is Tamasic build version 3.4.1. So yeah, I just want to show you guys uh, that. So it is build date 28. So mm, yeah, 28 December, not close to the new year so yeah extra information you do have a lot of options you have you have informations right here actual dpi dps setting uh, all of these are here uh, it doesn't have the ota uh, well i guess the massive rom didn't really have ota beforehand so yeah uh, it's not there what else do we have now it does use super su script which i really appreciate because super user was not really working for me on this on the uh aosp roms on the lollipop roms so this is bound to work uh so i really appreciate that this uh is something which well this is an afterthought uh i may not have to flash super su again to get uh titanium backup or something to work so that is something which i really love about this rom now let's get into the extra settings now and it does have extras now this is by far right now the most feature rich lollipop rom available for s3 so you do have a lot of options here let's go to status bar and extras you can see clock and date it does have clock and date options it does have font option which i really love i really like the condensed font uh, for the clock stuff so yeah it does work out it makes me happy so yeah that's really cool uh, it has ba uh, battery cell style, portrait, landscape, uh, circle, text, whatever. You can also add text there. It is right now, it is at 75. So, just an afterthought for you guys to know that it is there. Um, battery control, brightness control. The brightness control can be uh, initiated with this swipe. So, it is there. Notification ticker, quick pull down on uh, the right side. Uh, smart pull down if there are no persistent or uh, dismissible stuff it will go straight to quick settings you do have that disable on lock screen the notification uh, swipe can be disabled on lock screen if you don't like that so that is really cool network traffic indicator show weather it is showing weather so something which I really appreciate last time in resurrection remix it is available in resurrection remix but I wasn't able to show you guys this thing working so yeah it does work in that also show notification, show notification count all of that clear all notification 
this has a good thing for lefties because you can have this thing on the top left corner if you are a lefty you use your left hand so yeah this icon can be on the left side it also has a recent the google search menu in the recent panel so you can have that pretty cool now here is where everything differs now Damascus extras now this one has a lot of things first of all app circle bar you have app circle bar built into the rom which i have actually enabled here so you can have the things which you use almost always like phone camera stuff like that here on this corner so if you click this corner you can have the circle bar it does work out it's really cool it's neat it's right where you need it it also has gesture anywhere which is pretty awesome uh it is well i personally like it on this corner uh, I click there now it opens up a screen I can enable gestures to open certain apps or activities uh, for example I have this for camera so this will enable camera for me so this is like the Jesus tool of everything because you really get everything on your fingertips you don't have to navigate you don't have to do a lot of stuff which you have to do otherwise so yeah pretty awesome toast animation you do have a lot of options there we have uh, all of these wake lock blocker is something which you may like to use if you are experiencing a huge battery drain issue you can uh, enable wake lock blocker so yeah all of these will wake up your phone so you can enable uh, what all stuff will not wake up your phone if you enable that that will not wake up your phone so your phone will still be in deep sleep so it may provide a better battery efficiency but using bake lock blocker can break a lot of functionality your rom or your phone has so use caution with this i'm not going to enable this because eh, not very useful for me so yeah that is it in the extra settings now rest of all are basic uh, lollipop setting you do have navigation button enabler in the display option so that is something which i really like you do have the google now uh, pop up and stuff like that you can enable that you can also have left-handed mode so yeah place the navigation bar on the left side so i'm not really sure why it hasn't changed but eh, it's there I'm not really sure it may need a reboot so yeah and call with the power button answer call with the home button and stuff like that which is really cool which makes me happy all of them are still here so that is really cool display options again you have adaptive brightness uh, you have uh, ambient display small font size uh, disable immersive mode messages those annoying messages whenever your an app goes into uh, immersive mode and the status bar goes up you have to click ok to, which tells you you have to swipe down to get the notification why i mean you know that you can swipe down to get the notification so yeah you can disable those messages so yeah, pretty cool uh double tap to sleep you can double tap the status bar to sleep uh, wake up on plug adaptive backlight history yada yada it's, it has all, all the options which other lollipop roms does give you notification on sound again a lot of options you can have that pretty awesome snooze timer heads up uh, time out for heads up notification etc etc all of them are right now uh, basically the same stuff as the other one so yeah it is available now the for uh, the uh, move to SD problem is still persistent so I'm not really sure if that is fixed in any way I'm not I don't think it is fixed so yeah there is a problem what else do we have now um basically this is this overall seems like a much polished rom and yeah that is very much like Tamasic. Tamasic roms are overall polished roms which you can use as a daily driver without a problem without a lot of problems so yeah let's show you guys the Antutu benchmark score while the benchmark score may not be the highest you would get on a lollipop rom it is acceptable like 2600 uh, 26000 is not bad or anything but yeah hey there are roms uh, which can give you 2700 but does that really matter benchmark score as we all know isn't the ultimatum it's the user experience which counts so yeah i just wanted to throw that in there so yeah um what else do we have now uh phone and everything does work out i have had calls i have made calls i have gotten messages and everything does work out i don't really have a problem i didn't have any problem with a lot of stuff uh music does play out so that is also something which is pretty cool i'm going to play music now and yeah it does work out 
so yeah i'm not really sure what other things are to be seen uh let me show you guys a boot animation which is pretty standard uh this science and mod boot animation so there you have it this is the basic science and mod boot animation which well has been there since the beginning of uh, KitKat I guess so yeah the same boot animation is still recycled in this one so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM this is an overall really polished uh, version of Lollipop well Cyanogen Mod 12 which we have in this phone now so that is pretty cool I have really good expectations for uh, Tamasic ROM generally and this does meet for now because it, the, all the others are in the, still in the beta or alpha phase this is well, also in this beta or alpha phase, so yeah. Now this ROM still has problems with the um, videos not able to seek in hardware compressor mode. So that I guess is a problem with Cyanogen mod, so it can't really be helped that much. But uh, it will be fixed eventually, so I'm not really worried about that or something like that. You can always use software composer, so yeah, pretty cool. Now the battery life, I wanted to show you guys the battery life, uh, it does have a bit of leak but not so much that you cannot use it. Uh, I have used this for a day uh, probably and it does work out. You can see the curves are pretty neat. These, this is the time when I did not wake my phone. When the phone is awake, yes, it does drain battery quite a lot. Right now it is at 72 percentage. So just wanted to show you guys that. So, uh, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.